Good morning. So I'm at United Rentals right now and I'm looking to see what mini excavators they have here. I just talked to a guy and he said they don't carry many mini excavators or skid steers at this location. Um, so I might have to use the trusty old, I'm not even seeing a single one. Yeah, I think that's going to be a dud. We're going to have to pick it up from American Pride, which that's fine. It's just a little bit farther away. Either American Pride or Home Depot. I don't like renting the Home Depot stuff, though. So, today we are going to be installing a lot of drainage pipe at the museum that we do a lot of work at. She's getting 11 new gutters put in and we gotta run um, perforated PVC pipe for a lot of them right into the rock drain bed because there's permeable pavers all the way around the museum. So that stuff is easy and then there's other areas where it's not perforated pipe and we have to run long PVC pipe out to a pop-up drain. So that is the plan today. There's a lot of pipe digging, so I want to get a little small excavator and make life a million times easier. I got the skid steer right now on the back of, of the truck on the trailer because uh, we need somewhere to put the rock whenever we dig it out. Not all the rock's gonna go back in since there's gonna be a four inch PVC pipe in there now. So that is the plan. I will show you guys what we're working with when I get to the job site. We got Ethan and we got Dylan, the new guys back today. So we'll see what we can get done. Got me a donut. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna get this machine unloaded and then call American Pride and see what excavators they have. And start making my way over there and give these boys something to do. Got the mini X. They're always bad at Mary. Uh, your mom was saying just now, I mean, I missed on the conversation, I didn't catch it, but I thought I was just thinking about it. But she was saying we're going to do like six inch pipe all the way, but we're going to do two downspouts per six inch. But on this side, she was like, oh, we're going to run two six inch pipes out, but there's only two downspouts on this side. So I don't know why we wouldn't just go from the far end, one six inch, and then tie it in with that one that's closer, and then go six inch all the way out. Why are we doing six down. inch anyway? Because Mary is going to end potentially going with bigger gutters than these. Oh. So everywhere now, 6 inch, not 4 inch? Yep. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to run it straight into the rock being 6 inches. I don't know if everything's going to be 6 inches deep before it gets to dirt. I know, and then she's like, doesn't want to run the skid steer on this side. So she was like, just put all the rock on top. But then I started going down, and I'm like, wait, there's a uh, 57 base yeah. underneath the 89. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, well, I mean, we can throw some of that in there, but I'm obviously, I plan on bringing the 89 rock back whenever we lay the pavers to put it on top she and then knows, level yeah, it out. I get that. She was just saying, put all the, all the base just on top of the pavers over here, and then we'll just push it back in when we're ready. Da, da, da. Okay. Why is it that over there she doesn't want the skids here? She said, it's too tight here. I don't know, she's going to be back here. Uh, she ran somewhere to get... Like, this thing has a backup alarm going forward and backwards. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most annoying thing ever. We're disconnecting that? Definitely we're disconnecting that. This is the ultimate shovel here, Dylan.
do though. Services, we got to hide them beavers. The boys always come return them disconnected. Yep, for real. I wonder if they. Yeah, we always forget to reconnect it. with the little hot plug. Ain't even like the old one where we had to disconnect that bolt. Yeah, but little pew. Alright, we got no excuse not to reconnect that one. Turn it. He was already unplugged, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Alrighty. I go ahead and start digging this out. We're gonna have to hand dig this area to the trench because of this overhang. It's too tight for this uh, mini excavator. So I'm gonna start digging from here on back with the excavator, doing what I can do with it. We're putting in a six inch pipe. <clears throat> so it's gonna be a connection from this one to that gutter down there. They're gonna connect here and a six inch pipe is gonna run out. Ethan is going to pick up the pipe right now. I don't know what in the world happened to my uh, time lapse clamp for my phone. I use my iPhone for my uh, time lapses. And I don't know what in the world happened to it. So, might not have much time lapse content today.
to this uh, this overhang here. So again, gotta be really careful. Go ahead and pick up some of these pavers that are falling down in here. Got all the pipe here. Almost down to where this box is gonna be at. And then once I dig it all out, we're gonna check the heights of everything and make sure that we're still running downhill, which it looks like we are just by eyeballing it. And that is the plan. We might be a little off center. So we'll see. Might have to dig a little bit on this left side, but we'll see. I don't want to get too close to these trees and dig out a bunch of the roots here. The Marietta Museum of Art and Whimsy.
55, sorry baby. Well, that means, yeah. <laughs> you can't ask too much. No, you can't. I feel like North Carolina is like ideal for park like this, but it's always like the max. I feel like, yes, there's one like 75. Yeah. No. In the, in the summer, it'd still be hot as shit, but. Yeah. That's the thing, it's like up north. In Wisconsin and shit, it's perfect this time of year. It's literally 50 in the morning and it gets to like 78 in the afternoon max. But doing this stuff, that you're way more like comfortable than shit. Yeah. Up north, I mean, like in Florida, you can't dig. The, I mean, everywhere else, you can't dig as easy as this. Even in Georgia, you're digging in clay. It's a lot fucking harder. You know what I mean? And then places like New York and shit, everything's rock. So you're you got to come through with a jackhammer first before you even try and dig anything. That's big money though. Yeah, that's one of the reasons things are a lot cheaper here because it's easier to do here. Yeah. Bring your bucket up. Kids here though. get to drive that thing that much on days where he's ripping it that boy's so happy you just see his smile ear to ear Around the front, if you want to walk around the other way, there's uh, irrigation pipes that we got to move somehow because where this pipe's going. So the, the problem is around the front. Yeah, you can kind of see it right here where that white irrigation pipe goes that way. Yeah. And we can't go underneath of it with the big pipe because then the drain box will be way too low. Yeah. So it's got to be like... Okay. So this pipe right here there's uh two pipes one's a small one 
that I think just goes to this sprinkler that's right here. And then this bigger one, I'm guessing feeds all of these lines that are in here for these trees and these bushes, all the palm trees. And so really, I either need this to go down farther or I need it to come up. Either or is fine, but I can't get under it right now with where it's at and I can't go over top of it. That thing come from. So we got <clears throat> everything dug out with the shovels to an estimated solid slope down. We're gonna start putting pipes in here and then checking them, making sure that everything is going downhill. That's going downhill, folks. First thing when we get here, we're gonna start gluing all these pipes in, putting them in. I'm gonna bring the laser to uh, be exact and make sure that we're all good. So that is the plan now. Did a lot of tearing up today. And tomorrow it'll all start going back. Gotta bring the dump truck tomorrow with some fresh 89 rock. Put back in here. And we got a lot of Cleaning up rock and dirt that we gotta do. So that's the plan. I had to run this morning and uh, drop off the excavator that we rented yesterday. And Ethan and Dylan have been in here working on getting this pipe to the right height and dealing with this fabric back here. Which, if you ever put fabric down and cover it with rock, you know it's a pain in the ass to. Uh, pull back up so we'll see what we can do <laughs> oh, we're level, brother. Dead nuts. gonna try and squeeze past it a little bit it's the only option that I got just gonna try and dig this side out a little bit Seven and up is waterproof. So this is the only like bullshit thing I'm gonna run into. This is this brown that's written right here. Mmm. So what's your plan there? Dude, I think I'm hitting that pipe. Yeah. I was wondering when you're gonna run into it. Yeah. 
That bitch is way too hot. Alright, so we got our adapter. We got this pipe right here, so we can't run a six inch pipe out. We got a four inch going into the six inch pipe. So that is what we were gonna run. I'm gonna go ahead and give this old girl some marks. And get her cut. Not so easy cutting a straight line with this thing, but it's straight enough. Alright, time to start gluing shit together. Yep. And then they can pop that cap on the thing. Yep. Um, we'll start here and go the rest of the way. Yep. Good. Oh, we needed some pair of channel locks. Oh, oh brother. Sure. I don't think I got it. No shot. It's always crazy. No shot. Who's this one? That's the glue. Uh, First one's a primer, which like activates the, the plastic. And then the glue is what like locks them together. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, that was satisfying. Gonna be full of primer or something? Yep. I think that shit dries pretty quick. She's gonna be purple. You wanna prime that in? The butterfly in Can you grab that piece of fabric right there, Dylan, so I can just set these on the paper somewhere? Right on this edge. Yeah. So they don't drip over. Yeah, we'll do this one, lock it in, and then because that one has a gap, we can slide it down and then slide it into it. Because there's a gap on this right now. Okay. So let's do this one. We just gotta whenever we do that, you want that little level? Yeah. To make sure that check this real quick. Too. They're still good. It might have to go that way on that. That's good right okay. there. That thing like holds so much. I run out of primer. This is that shit people help you get high off of, Bill. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, for real. It'll get you turned up. All right, that's good. Yeah. Can you, you're gonna have to lift up this though. Yep, right there. Come on. I gotta turn that thing quick. Hold that. Hold that T. Put that level on, on that end too. Yeah, it's good. Make sure that top of that's not level though. Okay. Then double check this. Double check that. No, the that that's thing. Good. Okay. Oh, my bad. That's, that's good. Thing's ripping down. Dylan, can you go to the end of the pipe down there? I'm gonna have you push. Where that gap's at. I also brought out the mallet with the little metal piece 
to weld on the trailer that we could use as like a little piece of wood on the back of the pipe and hammer it in if it's not going in right. Just giving us a little fuss. Go. Push. Oh. oh. Okay. Give it a twist. I'm gonna twist it a little bit. That's good. Yep. Okay. There. That was a tight test fit there, Bob. Yeah, tight test fit. That's one of those, like, you test fit it and that thing's locked. Oh, which reminds me, talking about fingerprints. Next Thursday, I gotta go to the only appointments they had were 2.15, 3 o'clock, and 3.30 for the whole week. Actually, for the whole month. For my, um, concealed shit. So, that's next Thursday. That's fine. Yeah, 3.30. That's when I go home anyway. Huh? <laughs> so, that's when I go home anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, we like that. Go ahead and throw a level right here on this real quick. -y. Oh, sorry, Dill. Take his ankles out. Going down. Grab that. Grab that. Here, put it down, e. Put it down. That's money right there. Yeah. That's pretty good in there. Okay. And turn it the other way. Like flip it all the way around. So I can glue it easily. And I'll just give her a 180. That can of that purple shit um, fell over in the back of Cherry really? for like two days. In the back seat? Yeah. Oh. Shit reeked. Pick this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's that mallet? Okay. That's gotta be it. Yeah. Even about the other side of that wire. Good call. Right there. Oh, right. Go. Oh, yeah. Give her a twist. Oh, yeah. Felt like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's uh, put the level on this real quick. Huh? Yup. For some reason, it was deceiving me, like it was bellying up right here. On this one, you're gonna have to pick that end up, like out of the ditch, and go that way. Yep, like that. All right, wait up. This one's gonna be a little tricky. Yeah, this is as high as I can listen to that wire. No, that's fine. The height, but it's like the angle, you know, it's not exactly straight. Oh, go, go lefty. No, I'm still filled the other way a little bit. Yep. All right, stay there. Okay. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, that is money. Yeah. And we'll just get it semi there, and then that box can always move forward. It doesn't have to be exactly where it's at, you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll so just cut a piece. And, right there, and we're also going to have to dig some of that left out. Whoa. Where is it? Does it go all the way to this back right yeah. here? Yeah. So that would be 35 and one fourth. Another 35 entry. We got to fill we got to fill this uh, trench in with a rock. We're filling this all in with rock before we go. Uh with whatever rocks in there, yeah, I'm going to throw it on top of the pipe. Um all right, you ready to glue this Johnson? Yeah, here get this dirt out first. I almost got a bunch of glue on my face right there. Okay. Now that's just gonna close that mountain thing. Yep. You can't really glue that. What did Buddy sell? Oh, I guess it is the universal. I think she's in there. Cowabunga, dude. Bang! I think it, I think it's good still, to be honest. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it's just definitely. Deceiving. Yeah, I will get the small level because you're not gonna be able to go over that hump yeah. right there. We got, I think we got that red one right here, the two footer in the truck. What? You said that about the orange level, so we got two levels missing. Orange levels right here. It's always hiding under this lip. Good? Alright, sweet. Hmm. Alright. There you go, Miss Mary. You're gonna watch a water fountain come out of this thing when it rains now. It's gonna be a guide. No, she's not because there ain't that much water that comes from two gutters. Oh, it'll just take a while to do it anyway. All the pipe is set in place. Tomorrow we're gonna come back and put in some 89 rock which is the smaller stuff that you see here and uh, clean all of this all these piles up and get it ready to get pavers laid back down got the hard stuff done and the new guy made it past day one. yeah <laughs> new guy made it past day one <laughs> you guys already knew that from the last video Coming out to the old drain box. And that is it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.